Welcome. I'm Doug Giesbrecht bringing you News Bites with a Difference. Today's news reports with prayer so we make a difference together. February 16th, Chile's northern deserts, home to the world's biggest copper mines, was shaken by an earthquake. No injuries or damage were reported by the Chilean government. The magnitude 6 quake occurred about 169 kilometers northeast of the copper mining center of Calama, Chile at 10.45 a.m. local time Saturday. The Tembler was at a depth of 83.5 miles. Chile's emergency management agency said on its website that the quake didn't cause any injuries or damage. Let's just pray. In Jesus' name we come to you, Father, beginning our time together by thanking you for your creative ability in us to be able to create such sensitive instruments that can detect earthquakes 80 miles deep in the surface, Father. We pray that you would enable us to use this technical ability, this creative ability, to live happy and godly lives, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The National Geographic reports a new theory. Simultaneous warming on Earth and Mars suggests that our planet's recent climate changes have a natural and not a human-induced cause, according to one scientist's controversial theory. Earth is currently experiencing rapid warming, which the majority of climate scientists says is due to humans pumping huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Mars, too, appears to be enjoying more mild temperatures. In 2005, data from NASA's Mars Global Surveyor and Odyssey missions revealed that the carbon dioxide ice cap near Mars' south pole had been diminishing for three summers in a row. Hababulo Abdesamatov, head of space research at St. Petersburg Pulkova Astronomical Observatory in Russia, says the Mars data is evidence that the current global warming on Earth is being caused by changes in the sun. The long-term increase in solar irradiance is heating both Earth and Mars, Abdesamatov says. He believes that changes in the sun's heat output can account for almost all the climate changes we see on both planets. Mars and Earth, for instance, have experienced periodic ice ages throughout their histories. Man-made greenhouse warming has made a small contribution to the warming scene on Earth in recent years, but it cannot compete with the increase in solar irradiance, he says. By studying fluctuations in the warmth of the sun, Abyssamatov believes he can see a pattern that fits with the ups and downs in climate we see on Earth and Mars. His work, however, has not been well received by other climate scientists. His views are completely at odds with the mainstream scientific opinion, said Colin Wilson, a planetary physicist at England's Oxford University. And they contradict the extensive evidence presented in the most recent Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report. Amato Evan, a climate scientist at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, added that the idea, or theory, my quotation, just isn't supported by the theory, his theory, my quotation, or by the observations. The conventional theory is that climate changes on Mars can be explained primarily by small alterations in the planet's orbit and tilt, not by changes in the sun. All planets experience a few wobbles as they make their journey around the sun. Earth's wobbles are known as Milankovitch cycles and occur on time scales of between 20,000 and 100,000 years. Most scientists think it is pure coincidence that both planets are between ice ages right now. Mars has no large moon, which makes its wobbles much larger, and hence the swings in climate are greater too, Wilson said. Perhaps the biggest stumbling block in Abdesamatov's theory is his dismissal of the greenhouse effect, in which atmospheric gases, such as carbon dioxide, help keep heat trapped 
near the planet's surface. He claims that carbon dioxide has only a small influence on Earth's climate and virtually no influence on Mars. But without the greenhouse effect, there would be very little, if any, life on Earth, since our planet would pretty much be a big ball of ice, said Evan. Most scientists now fear that the massive amount of carbon dioxide humans are pumping into the air will lead to a catastrophic rise in Earth's temperatures dramatically raising sea levels as glaciers melt and leading to extreme weather worldwide. Abdesamatov remains contrarian, however, suggesting that the sun holds something quite different in store. The solar irradiance began to drop in the 1990s, and a minimum will be reached by approximately the year 2040, he said. It will cause a steep cooling of the climate on Earth in 15 to 20 years. Again, let's pray together. In Jesus' name, Father, we come asking you to increase our wisdom and to use the right theories to determine our practices scientifically, governmentally, socially, spiritually, Lord. Guide us to the truth that the truth will set us free to live happy and godly lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may God bless you. We produce new bites daily, Monday through Friday, every week. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.